Canon has been updating its super zoom cameras quite consistently. We reviewed the Canon PowerShot SX520HS last year and found it to be a worthy purchase thanks to its capable imaging and long zoom lens. This year, Canon introduced the PowerShot SX530HS which has a longer 50x optical zoom lens, compared to the 42x on the PowerShot SX520HS, and now includes Wi-Fi. These are the only two major changes to the specifications. Even the design of the PowerShot SX530HS is very similar to that of its predecessor. We tried to find out if these tweaks are enough to warrant an upgrade if you already own the PowerShot SX520HS, and also if this is a good super zoom camera for first-time buyers to consider. Design The bridge design of the PowerShot SX530HS is exactly the same as that of the PowerShot SX520HS, which is not necessarily a bad thing. We still think that the molded plastic body looks a little cheap and it would have been nice of Canon to include a tiltable LCD. The dimensions of the PowerShot SX530HS have changed so slightly that the naked eye wouldn't be able to spot any differences even if both cameras were kept side by side. It is taller at 82mm and has more depth at 92mm, but has the same 120mm width as its predecessor. It also weighs 1 gram more than the PowerShot SX520HS which had a weight of 441 grams. Specifications and Features The PowerShot SX530HS has the same 16 megapixel half.3 inch CMOS sensor as its predecessor. The telephoto end of the lens can now go up to 1200 mm compared to 1080 mm on the PowerShot SX520HS. Furthermore, using the Zoom Plus mode one can zoom in further, digitally, up to 100x to be specific. However, it would have been great if Canon could have gone wider on the other end of the lens as well. Even some smartphones can now go wider than the 24mm PowerShot SX530HS can achieve. Moreover, the lens continues to be a relatively slow shooter with a maximum aperture of f/3.4. The camera uses Canon's Digic 4 Plus image processor. In macro mode the lens can go as close to a subject as 0 cm, which is pretty impressive. The ISO range starts at ISO 100 and ends at ISO 3200. Metering modes include evaluative, center-weighted average and spot. There is the usual bevy of shooting modes carried forward from the PowerShot SX520HS, including M, Manual, Avenue, Aperture Priority, TV, Shutter Priority, P, Program, Live View Control, Hybrid Auto, Auto, Creative Shot, SCN, Scene creative filters and movie performance by increasing the zooming capabilities we actually expected the camera to struggle a little with performance however we found that the shooting speeds and the image stabilization weren't different from what we experienced with the power shot sx 520 hs you'll still need a tripod or at least a flat surface to place the camera on when shooting at the maximum zoom level Take a look at the two pictures below to gauge the zooming capabilities of this camera. 1080p 30fps video may not look as crisp as 60fps video that a few other cameras can record, but having said that we were really impressed with our sample video which did not have any frame drops, even when we panned the camera in our hands. Details came out intact and the colors were adequately vibrant. This camera is perfect for shooting home movies. The battery lasted for around 200 shots, which is close to what Canon rates it at. However, this is not great compared to the battery life of some other cameras in the same price range. Verdict The Canon PowerShot SX530HS is officially priced at Rs. 21,995 but can be purchased for around Rs. 18,000 online and at some retail stores as well. However, Stocks of its predecessor are still available and it is selling for as little as ours. 12,999. At that price, picking up the PowerShot SX520HS makes more sense, but the PowerShot SX530HS's bump in both still and video performance, 
and the addition of wireless connectivity are good enough reasons for us to recommend this camera. However, if you already own the PowerShot SX520HS, upgrading is not necessary.